All right, thanks for watching. And do you need a hard calc one problem for your exam? Then check this one out because this one's pretty nice. In particular, consider the following function f of x, which is 2x over x squared minus 7x plus 12, when x is less than or equal to 0, which by the way you can write as 2x times x minus 3 times x minus 4, and the function x squared plus x over x squared plus 3x plus 2, which is x times x plus 1 over x plus 1 times x plus 2, when x is greater or equal to 0, the question is, where, if, where is f continuous? And by the way, this question was invented because of a misunderstanding I had with uh, black pen, red pen, because we were talking about another problem, and we kind of confused this one with this one. But this one's also very cool. And the question is, where is this function continuous? Now. You might be tempted just to say, oh, it's discontinuous at 3 and 4, but you have to be very careful. And in particular, what we have to do, first of all, let's check if it's even continuous at 0. And to figure out if it's continuous at 0, you just need to take the limit. So limit x goes to 0 plus of f of x, or in that case, use this definition limit x goes to 0 plus of, again, x squared plus x over x squared plus 3x plus 2. But since this is defined at 0, this actually just equals 0. And finally, the limit as x goes to 0 minus of f of x. You just play the same spiel. So limit x goes to 0 minus of uh, um, so 2x over x squared minus 7x plus 12, and that also equals 0. So in fact, since the left-hand side and right-hand side limits are equal, we can conclude that the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x, that is 0, which is also the value of f at 0. So f of 0, you can compute it anyway, and that is f of 0. So in fact, it is continuous at 0, but the question is, what about the other points? And that is actually super interesting, because let's figure out what this is. So suppose, for example, that x is less than or equal to 0. Is it discontinuous somewhere negative? Well, let's see. If x is negative, we have to use this definition. But the only cases where it's discontinuous is if the denominator is 0, so x equals 3 or x equals 4. But here's the thing, 3 and 4, they're not in our domain of definition. Because x is negative here, but 3 and 4, they're outside. So in fact, those points don't really matter because we're just focusing for negative x. And so in conclusion, the function is continuous where x is negative. If x is less than or equal to 0. So in fact, there are no danger zones here. And well, what if x is greater or equal to 0? Again, the only dangerous values is if x is minus 1 or minus 2, but again, they're not in the domain we're considering, because we're only considering positive x. So at minus 1, at minus 1 and minus 2 also doesn't matter, because they're outside of the stuff we're considering. So in fact, f is also continuous if x is greater or equal to 0. And by the way, just side remark, why didn't I just cancel this out? Because sometimes those values do matter. So if x were negative, you can't just cancel out and say it's just discontinuous at minus 2. You would also have to consider minus 1. But here we're kind of lucky that we don't need to do that. And so in the end, what can we conclude? It turns out that this freaky function is actually continuous everywhere. Did you guess that? Maybe or maybe not. Where? 
And again, this is very interesting because each of those functions technically is discontinuous, but at different parts of the domain. So if you drew this one separately, it might look something like that. Again, I'm not sure if it's exactly like that, but here it's perfectly continuous. And this other function, again, might blow up at minus one and might blow up at minus two and maybe like that. But here it's also perfectly continuous. And what we're just considering are the perfectly continuous part, not the parts that blow up. Isn't that interesting? So in particular, watch out for the domains when you take a Calc 1 exam. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.